I'm Rose. And I'm Gwano. And we're here for UBTV Sports Night. We're here at Coombe Dingle with the hotly contested games between the 4th and the 5th in the Bucks League. Hi, I'm Chris Cato, member of the hockey club. Uh, do a little bit of coaching for the Fools, so tonight's a big day. And how serious is tonight's game? Uh, it's very serious, uh, one of the biggest games in the club's history. Um, fours versus fives, you know, can't really say much else, massive derby. Who's going to win? Um, of course the Fools are going to win. Uh, as a hockey purist, you know, you want the Fools to win. And what happens if they don't? Um, I believe John Howard does death and a lot of the Fires players will play for the Fools next week. Last year, the Fools narrowly won 3-2, so tonight's match is set to be really, really tight. It's going to be a corker. Let's go and see what spectators thought of the first half. So what are you thinking of the game so far? Yeah, it's been good. I think the fifths have dominated a bit and uh, it is a good game so far. It's a good evening. But aren't the fours winning 3-0 at the moment? Does it make a difference? The fifths have dominated, I reckon. The fifths have dominated. So they're going to win? Yeah, of course they're going to win. What are you going to bet on that? A couple of hundred on it. A couple of hundred? OK, we're going to see what happens. So what did you guys think of the first half? Oh, it, was, it was pretty exciting first half, but yeah. fives are looking quite weak. And uh, the only reason the fives are looking quite weak is because this boy is not playing. <laughs> yeah, this Henry Hunt is and has been the star player of the fives this season, but not selected this game. I'm not sure why. I find that highly questionable. Yeah, I know, I know. Misbehaving a bit earlier in the week, but shouldn't have been dropped. Who do you think should win? Fives. Fives, but they're not going to win because he's not playing. <laughs>
Unfortunately, it wasn't quite as close as we thought. The fifths lost 7-0. But let's go and speak to some people and see what they thought of the game. So I'm with the umpires of the games, not refs, I've just been told. So what do you think of the game? Um, it was quite good. It was, uh, it was a fast game. It was, it was a bit scrappy in places, but it, was, uh, it moved quite fast. It was quite good to umpire. I had to keep up quite a lot. So, um, yeah, it was a good game. So you've got to be pretty fit to do this, Malarkey. Well, that's very kind of you. Um, I did, did go to Motivate <laughs> Monday this morning. Um, <laughs> Motivate Mondays, were you there too? I was not there, no. I go to Fridays. <laughs> but you enjoyed? <laughs> I did enjoy, actually. I don't, uh, I don't umpire as much as I uh, used to since I've been here. I've gone more into coaching. Um, but it's nice to get back on the whistle and umpire a few games, yeah. We're here now with the fifth captain. Would you like to introduce yourself? Turn around, three fives. Really sorry about your loss today. What can you take from it? We played well. I got my boys. They put in their effort. That was our first proper Bucks League game. And it's unfortunate that we played the fours. Obviously, tensions were very high. But I think we put our hearts into it. That's what matters. And what was the best bit of the game? Um... Can't call it, can't call it. It was, I was, all of my head was in the game the whole time. I couldn't pick anything out of it. And will there be any punishments? They'll be doing three jars of snake bite and a shot. Oh. Okay, lovely. And what do you think you guys are going to come back and do better next year? Uh, we'll be setting our transfer better at the back and we'll be more organised. We've. This is our first proper game as a team, so it's hard for us. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you're happy with the win? Yeah, yeah, great win. I've heard this is the biggest game of the season, so it's got to be a good win if it is. And uh, You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness, no... It in your tips. I'm trying hard not to show it, but baby, baby, you know it. We lost that love and feeling. Oh, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Oh, 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 oh. That was UBTV at Coombe Dingle. Thank you for watching.